I am very tired as a fight fan of seeing people rewrite the story after Tyron beats somebody. Well, Darren Till wasn't quite ready. Always. Well, they do this to him time and time again, Errol, and it's very important that we give credit to Darren Till so that we can respect what Tyron did. But I would also like to add uh, this for you. As a wrestler, if we go out and pin somebody, they will often say, well, you caught him. Yeah. And sometimes that's true. Yeah. What I was sharing with Ariel earlier, had they stopped that fight when you landed that big shot, I feel that people would say, well, he caught him. Yeah. I think that it is beneficial to you that the fight went on, that not only did you outstrike Darren Till, you outgrappled Darren Till. Am I right? Yeah, you know, I agree with you because, you know, even as I was on top of him, you know, I don't know how much time was going, but I just remember all them damn ground and pound sessions we had on the Bob Dow in the gym. And I remember one time we had finished training and um, Duke Rufus said, all right, Tyron, two rounds on the um, ground and pound dummy. And I looked over and I said, no. <laughs> And then he looked at me, and I was like, I'm just playing. So I, I did it anyway, but it's just a mindset. So when I was on top and I was elbowing him, I was elbowing him, I was punching him, I said, Tyron, you might have to fight three more rounds. I said, I got it in me. So I just kept going, I kept going. Um, but I agree with you, you know, anytime that I do something, if I clip Robbie, oh, you caught him with a punch, or you kick Carlos Conde, oh, he was getting beat the entire fight. So I think it was gratifying for people to see me dig down. Not only that, when I stood up, I wasn't even breathing hard the fight we really want to see like we're not even talking about specific welterweight fights we're talking about in the whole sport is you versus colby there's a great story there and i know that it's been dragging and i know this is the fight that you wanted to happen tonight you were yeah. expecting it to happen tonight is that the fight does it have to happen you know i don't know what fight has to happen I, i'm just i just taking myself out of calling out people and saying anytime i say i want to fight somebody nobody messes with it yeah so what i'm going to say is that i was prepared to beat it can I say that? Yeah, Be sure. this A today. It's the internet. But it's happened. Is the internet? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was planning on being this A machine. today, but obviously he needed a Claritin. Though he had the Claritin before he fought RDA, now all of a sudden he couldn't fight me, and he sent this kid out here to take his butt whooping. So uh, I'm just going to sit back, talk to my team, um, say training, say mentally sharp, and whatever the UFC you know, opponent-wise, suggest to me, we'll sit down and we'll talk about it, you know. I'm not going to say I'm fighting anybody, any, I don't do that. That's that's what the, the rookies get on the mic and say, I'll fight anybody. No, the opponent that makes sense, we'll sit down and we'll talk about it. That that was a statement open for interpretation. My interpretation, Ariel, yes. I think we got a fight. We I, had think, a, I think yeah, he we, just made a fight. I mean, I mean just, we had a fight. This, you're saying this with him sitting right I'm over there. I'm giving you my interpretation. <laughs> we had a fight already, I think he though. just said, yeah, well, we'll uh, I mean, Kobe. let's be real. Kamar Usman made weight. Why should he be the number one contender? I mean, either one of them, to be honest. I mean, they both got to get it at some point. How much yep. time off do you want to take? You just took a year off. Do you want to come back? Sure, if the, I didn't want to take a year off. Sure, but, um, sure. You know, I'm going to get back and um, just figure out. The UFC got to call me and, and tell me what's next. You know, they, they probably already kind of know what they wanted to do. If I won or if Till won, they kind of had in their mind. So when they when they give me a call and let me know who they think I'm going to fight next, and then we'll know. Because it's all it's all position on what card they want to put you on. I can say I want to be back in October. We all know I'm not going to fight in October. That right. card's sealed up. So, um, you know, Madison Square Garden's open. Then it's a New Year's Eve open. And, you know, if I have to go into next year, we'll see. Can I address the elephant in the room here for a second? Yesterday, UFC President Dana White did like five interviews, and you brought this up to yeah. me. You were the one who brought it up, where in every interview he was telling the interviewer why you're not popular and why you continue to shoot yourself in the foot. How do we fix this relationship once and for all where your promoter is actually the pro promoting um, you? The relationship with me and Dana or the relationship yeah. with me and the fans? No, you and Dana. Just That's keep your winning. promoter. That's all I got to do is keep winning. What did he say to you afterwards? Uh, I didn't speak to him. I just won. That's what champions do. They win, right? <laughs> I don't have I don't have no smoke with Dana, to be honest. I just I mean I, I accepted the fight. I made this I made this fight happen. Darren Till didn't make this fight. I made this fight happen. You know, so I'm the one that got in there, made this fight happen. It went through. I didn't say nothing. You guys heard me quiet on the social media. I trained my ass off. I stayed out of the the tabloids. I stayed out under the radar. I went out there and I delivered and I won. I ain't got nothing to say. I'm supposed to win. I'm the champion. It ain't nothing spectacular for me to go out there and beat the guy that's hunt. He hunting for me. I'm the champ. So um, as long as I keep winning, you know, what can you say? You can't deny me so long. I mean, how many times I got to go out there and whoop somebody for, for people to realize I'm the real deal? Hey, I, I also don't get it, Errol. And, and I hear this unpopular. I mean, that's the word that you use. I just watched him fight. 
When did I use that? You just said that Dana said, I'm not challenging you, oh, well, but you did said. use the word that Dana's saying he's unpopular. Right. Yeah, no, I know that I'm narrative I'm popular everywhere. It's so funny. This is what I'm saying. Everywhere though. outside Octagon, I'm like, <laughs> everybody else sees it. You right. know what I mean? But excuse me. We're, we, we continue to hear this term that he's unpopular, but I just watched him in front of a sold-out arena with a crowd chanting USA as yep. he took on a foreigner. Yep. Not only win, foreign athlete, excuse yep. me. Not only win another gold belt, win his black belt. For the first time, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm buying this. I'm not buying Tyron it. Tyron Woodley's not popular. When I just saw an arena pack full of people, I would argue he's one of the most marketable champions in the UFC, well. and it's time that they get behind him now. Tyron, we got some good news for you. What's that? 50k. Oh, I got 50k. Yeah. All right. All right. The night. All right. See? There's the love. Oh, what about team at? We're gonna chop that up. 50k. We gotta divvy that out to the squad. Just give me a quick prediction, because you did bring up the October card. Who wins? Khabib or Connor? You know what? Um, I don't want to play defense because I know y'all don't want to hear that. Um, these guys are each other's kryptonite. If Khabib can clobber and pressure, you know, Conor McGregor on a full camp, Chad Mendez had half the reach and didn't have a full camp, and he was able to do it. But the timing of Conor McGregor, I mean, he might be one of the best at that in the game. So I think if Khabib comes forward with his head wide open for some straight lefts, he might get lit up. So it really depends on who closes the gap the best, and it's going to be early. If Khabib starts pressuring him in the first round and have success, that's the fight. Sure. If Connor can catch him and slip him, we might see him getting TKO. So if I had to flip a coin, I would probably say Khabib, just because I think Khabib will deal with the emotion. A lot of guys lose to Connor because they can't deal with the emotional. He's going to mentally try to brainwash him, get into their head. Um, I think Khabib will be strong enough mentally not to allow that to happen, and he'll stick to the game plan. For more Ariel and the bad guy, sign up now for ESPN+.